Hey, hi Irfan, how are you? Hey, bro, uh, Shorin, how have you been? It's been a long time. Nice man. Actually, I'm currently checking out the next version of EA Sports FC. Hey, I see a bunch of books in your hand. You and your obsession with these books, I, I don't understand. It's, of course, I'm a gamer. So, uh, man, at least for today, why not try a game of FIFA in my new PS5? Hold on, hold on, Irfan. I know you were quite excited to play FIFA, but I have come here for something very important. So we can play FIFA after that. That's fine. Okay, okay, okay. Fine, I get it. Please, please uh, tell me what do you need. Uh, well, actually, um, I don't have any remaining empty shelves in my home, so I'm not able to keep this remaining few books. I thought maybe if you have any empty shelves uh, where I can keep these books for like six months till my new library at home gets set up. Hmm, interesting. Um, sure, I have a lot of empty shelves in my home. I can definitely help you keeping your favorite books, but. In return, I'm expecting a favor from you as well. Uh, what favor? Irfan, please don't try to take advantage of the situation. Please. Hey, no bro, uh, don't worry. It's just a very simple request that you also help me buy the next edition of FIFA by paying me just 500 rupees every month for keeping your books. I can agree, but only under one condition that no one will have access to my books. Can you guarantee me that? No, no, don't worry, bro. No one will touch your books. It's completely secure in my shelf. Okay. So let me now keep it. So here stays your books. And, and I've locked it in front of you, as you can see. And here is the key. Whenever you want, you please come and take it. Thank you. Hey, so just now we witnessed a short story of two friends, Shorin and Irfan, and how Shorin is using Irfan's bookshelves to keep his books for a period of six months with a monthly charges of 500 rupees. So uh, if we now replace those books of Shorin with uh, real world files, folders, images, videos of like what we keep in a computer or a phone, then that is what cloud computing is all about guys. It's quite simple. Basically, we are relying on someone else's computer to keep our stuff and we have secured access to it. So suppose uh, a real life example would be when we buy a new phone, first we back our old phone's data to Google Drive or iCloud. And when we buy the new phone, we sign in using our credentials and restore the data from cloud we say right here exactly we are using apple or google's trusted computers to store our data and then we are restoring from them when we buy the new phone 